Lindsay Blanchi, thanks for joining us on Let's Have a Snack. So Lindsay, where are you at on this culinary phenomenon known as everything bagel seasoning? Is this something you're into? Are you aware of this cultural you know, phenomenon or is this just not something you're interested in? I feel like every time I'm at the grocery store, I see more and more things that are like, and we've got everything bagel seasoning. I'm a fan of all seasonings. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm, You're I'm into, into it. it. You're into it. Yeah. Okay. Well, honestly, I'm obsessed with it. This has kind of taken our household by storm. I've almost replaced this with salt and pepper. Okay. I'm kind of crazy. So I brought up an article from Taste of Home, okay. and they have 25 suggestions to use everything bagel seasoning. Let's pull it up and let's see what Lindsay thinks about adding everything bagel seasoning. So yay or nay, Lindsay. Okay. Mac and cheese. I'd try it. Okay. Are you a Bloody Mary fan? Absolutely. Boom, that's a big that's yay. A big check mark, that one. <laughs> They recommending putting it on normal popcorn. As you can see, this is quite the failure. Yeah. 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 What do you think about that? I mean, I mean, rookie move, but <laughs> right, it's okay. Right. So as you can see, it, it all just went to the bottom. Yeah. So you know, you can quickly do one of these guys where you quickly spin it, but as soon as you tilt it back down, so mm -hmm. it just all goes yeah. to the bottom. So it could I, be good though on yeah. the right buttered popcorn. Right. Yeah. All right, so Lindsay, before we move into what you brought and why you're here, mm -hmm. I, I, we can't move on unless we try something with bagel seasoning. Yes. Right. Yep. So I brought some smoked salmon. Um, it's fresh. I smoked it myself. This is something that I generally think is a good fit for, for the uh, bagel seasoning. But before we do that, I just want to, you know, what is it, right? Like people are like, oh yeah, we eat the everything bagels, like yeah. some onions and garlic, yeah. you know what I mean? But like, do you ever take the time to think about actually what it is? I mean, you probably know because you're in the world of the, the culinary arts, but. I would guess just onion, garlic, and lots of sesame seeds. This is what they say. This is a tasty blend of onion, garlic, sesame seed, right? Mm -hmm. Poppy seeds and other spices. All right, let's get into this. Okay, Lindsay, so you got your cracker there. Yep. I'm gonna give you a nice piece of salmon here. Yep, yep, you good with that? Yeah. All right, so you got it over the, plate. It over the plate. Yep, yep, thank you. I'm gonna go ahead, yep, okay. that, that looks good for you. And some for your water. <laughs> yeah. All right, cheers. cheers. Thanks for being a good sport. Yeah. Oh, you're the, um, mm -hmm. Well, so Lindsay, now that we've gotten past this uh, everything bagel chapter of the show here, mm -hmm. um, what have you brought today? So I brought our famous pickleback pasta. Um, my husband, so we've had our food truck for four years. It'll be five in October. Okay. And people, you know, we've gotten... May I try it while yeah, you're talking? Yeah, go for it. Okay. We've had great reviews on our sandwiches and then one day he's like, I'm gonna do a pasta salad, something, you know, light and fresh and flavorful. And so he came up with this and it, it has exploded. Like we get messages for people wanting it in bulk, for grad parties, for all sorts of stuff. So, and you know, Brad's like, it's so crazy to me how I just threw together a few items and then Obviously, you know, the sauce makes a big difference and people are trying to recreate it and they come to the truck and they're like, I can't make it the same. So yeah, we, like people are getting it and eating it for breakfast. This um, is unbelievable. <laughs> I'm not just saying that. This is truly unbelievable. I love the choice of the shells, mm -hmm. first of all. Uh, Gotta cup all the sauce. This is unbelievable. So what exactly is pickleback pasta? Yes, so pickleback. the name came from uh, my husband has always loved um, a little shot of Jameson with a little bit of dill pickle juice. And I know it sounds crazy, but if you try it, it just, it pairs well, it takes the burn away a little bit. It's good flavor, unless you hate pickles, in which case I don't recommend. But, um, so it's kind of a take off that. The, the little bit of heat you get in the sauce is kind of to mimic the burn of the whiskey. Um, but it's lots of fresh dill, dill pickles, uh, smoked gouda, and then he makes a sauce. And um, can't tell you what's in the sauce, but I will say our favorite hot sauce is Crybaby Craig's. So there's some, some of that in there. I'll order like 20 gallons of that <laughs> as soon nice. as I possibly can. Good.
first chance I've had to actually talk to you in person, so I'm so happy about this. Um, Urban Wolf Deli, your food truck mainly, correct? Yes, we, we did have a storefront for a while. Um, of course, we opened and then COVID happened. Um, and then our lease was up and we were just looking to maybe go in a different direction, but for the time being, just with supply chain, the cost of everything and the timing, we're like, you know, as much as we want another storefront, it will happen, just not right now. So we're back to the food truck. Um, our season starts April 1st. So it'll be April 1st through November 1st, and we'll be at all the local breweries. So we stay pretty close to home just because we have a smaller truck um, and we have two kids and we want to spend you know, time with them. So yeah. we stick close to home. We're at 10K this season, Alloy, um, I Gear Brewing in Elk River. There's a new one opening in Brooklyn Park called Heavy Rotation that we're going to be at, um, Elm Creek and Champlin, obviously. So yeah, we're really excited. So talk about some of the other things that you serve at Urban Wolf Deli. What's, mm -hmm. what's kind of the, the main gist of it? It's uh, paninis, right? Yep. Paninis. Yep. Hot, yeah. hot press sandwiches. Yeah, tell me about the hot press sandwiches. So when we were talking about a food truck, um, we love tacos and barbecue, but that's a lot of Who trucks. Who doesn't? You know, exactly. <laughs> that's a lot of trucks. So we're like, you know, what can we do that's, that's a little different? Um, we wanted big, bold flavors, lots of fresh herbs, um, and my husband loves to cook, has always loved, always loved to cook, and you know, we're always begging him to make things. So, <laughs> um, so we just started with paninis. He makes all the sauces from scratch. Um, we have one called the Voodoo, that's like a muffaletta, okay. and it's got a delicious olive mix on top that he makes. Um, our number one seller since we opened is the Ostara, and uh, it's a, basically a turkey bacon avocado with a creamy basil sauce and it all melts together. And it's funny because a lot of people will be like, ugh, avocado, I don't know, on a hot sandwich. Sure, sure. But I'm like, you need to just give it a shot. It right. melts It melts in, makes just everything creamy with the cheeses and they eat it and they're like, yup, done. So. You're making me hungry. Yeah. I, uh, this is a, this is becoming a problem. <laughs> so sorry. Um, this, yeah, I, uh, I, uh, this, this, I, I, the, I, I, the. So we do have a website, it's just www.urbanwolf.com. Um, and I'm going to be updating our food truck schedule now that I'm finalizing some dates. You can find us on the truck April 1st to November 1st. Um, we partner with Avant Garden in Anoka. We do some cold grab and go sandwiches and you can get our pickleback pasta salad there. They usually have that in stock. Um, you can get, actually at Mavericks and Champlin, uh, my husband Brad partnered with them to create a cocktail. So they have the Urban Wolf Deli cocktail on the menu and it's a very herbaceous, flavorful drink with some rosemary on top and a cardamom sugared rim. Very tasty. Nice. Um, yeah, so the truck for now, but I respond to all the social media stuff. Okay. So if anybody shoots us a message and is like, give yeah. me some of that pickle back right now, we'll we'll make it happen. Yeah. So yeah, and then when I'm not doing the paperwork and the social media for that, I'm yeah. a manager at Margie's oh, Kitchen yeah. and Cocktails in Andover. Cool. Yeah, tell me about Margie's while we're while we're yeah. hanging out here. So this is a fairly new restaurant, like within the last couple years. Yeah, right. I think before the pandemic started. The pandemic. Yep. Okay. Tell me about Margie's. Where can people find Margie's? Yep. What's going on at Margie's? What kind of food can you get? Yeah. Tell me about it. It's, it's I would say, upscale Americana with, with twists. Our chef Diego is okay. excellent with flavors and everything's made from scratch. And it's really, it's a great family atmosphere for as far as the staff and everything goes, which I'm okay. really thankful to be a part of. Yeah. Uh, it's on the corner of uh, Bunker Lake and Round Lake Boulevard there, kind of by the McDonald's. Okay. So yeah, open right now, Wednesday through Sunday. Um, they have a great brunch on the weekends, so it's just, I love it there. Their food's yeah. awesome, the people are awesome, so I'm happy to be part of it. And then when I'm not there, I'll be hopping on the truck when we yeah. don't have staff. And, <laughs> yeah. Lindsay Blonji, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to have Lauren back on. I want to hear about the reptiles. I want to hear about the artwork. Yeah. Yeah, I want to hear more about that. And uh, thanks to Ryan and Mike in the control room for making us look good. I need it. You don't. So, Stop. you know, they need, <laughs> they need to work hard on me. So anyways, all right. Thanks again. Thanks for having me.